Hello Newtonians. In this video, we are going to learn about computer-aided design, CAD. We are going to talk about what CAD is, what benefits and applications of CAD are, and look into the CAD modeling types and list some of the most interesting commercially available CAD software. Introduction to CAD We already discussed in the Introduction to Engineering Drawings that engineering drawing is one of the most represented ways of communicating design intent. In the past, engineering drawings were made with hands, using pen, paper, and different tools for a more efficient drawing process. With the development of computers, the design and drawing practices have been revolutionized. Drawings made on a drawing board were replaced with drawing creation on computers, and CAD was initially the term for computer-aided drafting. With further development of computers and software, 3D modeling was introduced to the market. This significantly changed the approach to design, and a new term was born, computer-aided design. With these software capabilities, you can also often hear the term CADD, computer-aided design and drafting. However, the acronym CAD is generally used and accepted in the industry. In a nutshell, computer-aided design and computer-aided drafting terms are used to describe the use of computer with CAD software for design and drafting applications. Furthermore, I keep in mind that knowledge of CAD is an industry standard for mechanical design engineers, and this skill will definitely be needed to get a job as a mechanical design engineer. Considering that CAD software enables you to create exact virtual replicas of physical artifacts relatively fast and cost-effective, most of the companies hiring mechanical design engineers require CAD skills in their job vacancies. I strongly believe that to move on to the more complex issues, the basics must be firmly adopted. That is the reason why in this video and the next few that are coming, we will cover the basics so that we can finally move to the more complex topics that will lay on the foundations of introductory topics. Benefits of using CAD There are multiple reasons to use CAD software in the design and drafting process. Some of the benefits are Virtual prototyping, ability to create complex geometry parts, ability to create complex assemblies, collision check between different parts, mass properties analysis, tolerance analysis, kinematic analysis, design evaluation and review, 2D and 3D drawings can be produced, photorealistic rendered product pictures, ability to create animations, virtual reality, accurate drawings, the fast and efficient drawing creation process, drawings are neat, parts of drawings can be used on other drawings. Settings inside of the CAD software are easily adjustable to industry standards, consistency between different people or companies, usage of predefined templates, automated drafting, file revision control, CAD data can be used to extract machine codes, CAM, computer-aided manufacturing, easy to export and share design files and drawings, predefined libraries of 3D models, faster time to the market, easier collaboration between different departments, cloud collaboration, and many more. CAD application. As a mechanical design engineer, you might use CAD software for different concepts development, industrial design and aesthetic mockups, system level design, preliminary component design, creating virtual prototypes, detailed design of different components and assemblies, optimizing design for functionality, manufacturing, assembly, quality, testing, cost, serviceability, maintenance, usability, and environment. The motion analysis of the components, engineering drawing creation, tolerance definition, and tolerance analysis, creating assembly instructions or guidelines, system data creation and maintenance, product updates, engineering change requests, working in a team with other mechanical design, manufacturing, electrical and quality engineers, programmers, scientists, etc., photorealistic rendered product pictures, animations, etc. CAD modeling types. As a mechanical design engineer, you will mostly use CAD software for geometric modeling as a starting point for further steps in the design process. Geometric modeling refers to using CAD software to create a mathematical description of the geometry of an object. Once you develop the geometric model, you can proceed with following steps like finite element analysis, FEA, rendering, drafting, etc. We will focus on three-dimensional modeling, 3D, as a primary modeling approach, and we will use two-dimensional modeling, 2D, in the following step after the 3D model has been created. While only 2D modeling is present today, we will not focus on it except when we are talking about drafting from existing 3D models. As the name alludes, a 3D model is described with three dimensions, width, height, and depth dimensions. 
However, in a 2D model, we are missing the depth dimension. I prefer to work with 3D models and then use them for drawing creation, and I avoid only 2D as plague. I find the 3D modeling and drafting much more efficient, it is easier to check if the design is good, and any change made to a 3D model is automatically visible on the drawing. Let us now look into the most common types of CAD modeling approaches. Wireframe CAD Modeling A wireframe CAD model is the simplest form of CAD model. It is a 3D line drawing of an object showing only the edges and vertices without any side surface in between. Wireframe model does not provide the volume information of the various regions of the part. They have been replaced with surface and solid modeling because they are hard to visualize, create uncertainty about design intent, and do not provide a true representation of a product. However, they are still used as a way to create a pictorial view for a 2D drawing. Surface CAD Modeling In addition to defining edges and vertices, surface models define surface features as well. The surface is an outer boundary of an object connected to edges and vertices. With surface modeling, it is possible to create complex curves and forms that are normal in the industry. Using only surface modeling is interesting to industrial designers and other product designers that are interested in the product's external shape and appearance. However, for mechanical design engineers, surface models without the possibility of transforming into solid models are almost useless. In the real world, mechanical design engineers would receive external shapes from industrial designers. The mechanical design engineers responsible for ensuring that the product is manufacturable with the minimum intrusion on industrial design. In some cases, a mechanical design engineer is responsible for both, but that depends on the company and the engineer's skills. Surfaces can be created using different techniques, and each CAD software has unique methods for creating and working with surfaces. One of the most important concepts for modeling surfaces is polygonal modeling. Polygonal modeling is a basic form of surface modeling that produces lower quality surfaces without precise curvature control. Polygonal modeling creates quick and easy to modify surfaces, and most CAD systems use non uniform rational B spline NURBS, mathematics to produce accurate curves. A spline is a curve that uses a series of control points and other mathematical principles to define the location and form of the curve. Surface creation There is a number of different techniques how to create a surface model. The techniques mostly depend on the shape to be created and the available tools and CAD software. You need to have detailed knowledge of your CAD software tools and processes to know when to use which tool in order to get the desired result. Direct Surface Modeling Direct surface modeling is when the desired shape is created from primitive shapes by manipulating surface position and or adjusting control points of different curves. Depending on the CAD software, we can start our design process with primitives like box, cylinder, sphere, torus, pipe, plane, etc. Procedural Surface Modeling Procedural surface modeling is when the desired shape is created from curves using different tools available in CAD software. Basically, we are creating surfaces from sketches. Depending on the CAD software, we can start our design process with different tools like extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, etc. Furthermore, most CAD software provides additional surface construction tools from existing surface models. Depending on the CAD software, we can edit our surface with different tools like patch, ruled surface, offset, trim, split face, merge, stitch, extend, etc. Solid modeling. In addition to defining edges, vertices, and surfaces, solid models also define the model's mass. It is an exact digital replica of a physical, real-world model. The solid model can be assigned a material that closely replicates the material used to manufacture the product. Assigning a material to a solid model allows for analyzing and testing physical and inertial properties. The result is a solid model that acts as a digital prototype of a product. Once when a solid model is finished, the process of creating an engineering drawing is not hard. Creating new views, sections, and detailed views is a straightforward process. Furthermore, dimensioning and tolerancing are semi-automatic, basically at a click of a button. However, rules for creating engineering drawings are still something that CAD software cannot do for you. Let us now look into the two main solid modeling techniques. Constructive Solid Geometry, CSG 
constructive solid geometry modeling basically uses solid primitives, like boxes, cones, spheres, etc., with Boolean operators to form the desired shape. Boolean operators are union, difference, and intersection. Feature-based modeling Feature-based modeling, in contrast to CSG, allows the construction of models from parametric shapes. In this case, the process of creating 3D models starts with a 2D sketch that defines two dimensions and uses features to add the third dimension in space. Features that can be used to create a solid model from a 2D sketch are extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, etc. Using feature-based modelers allows different features to be associated with specific edges and faces. These features are extrude cut, holes, fillets, chamfers, pockets, etc. In addition, different software can have different modules for modeling solid models with a predefined set of features. For example, there can be a solid module, sheet metal module, welding profiles module, plastic parts module, etc. Characteristics of good feature-based solid modeling are Constraint-based modeling Geometry can be constrained using geometric or dimensional constraints. Geometric constraints are characteristics applied to restrict the size or location of geometry. Examples are vertical slash horizontal, coincident, tangent, equal, parallel, perpendicular, midpoint, concentric, collinear, etc. Dimensional constraints are used to numerically control the size or location of geometry. Constraints-based modeling enables engineers to introduce intelligence into the design. When an object has no freedom of movement, a design is considered fully constrained. Parametric modeling. Parametric modeling means that parameters of the model, like length, width, depth, position, orientation, tolerances, material properties, reference to other features, etc., may be modified to change the geometry and properties of the model. For example, geometry is updated when a numerical value of the dimension is changed in CAD software. Parametric modeling tools allow parameters to reference other parameters through relations or equations. The power of this approach is that when one dimension is modified, all linked dimensions are updated according to specified mathematical relations, instead of having to update all related dimensions individually. Furthermore, parameter values are stored in a database, for example, an Excel sheet, and changes made in the database will automatically update the geometry of the object. History-based modeling History-based modeling enables designers to track and change the features used to create an object. That means the order in which part is built is critical and upfront planning is required. When modeling, we should plan ahead where and how our model could be used. If we are making a model for exploratory purposes, the order in which features are used is not critical. If we are making a model that may be used as a representative design, then we have to construct our model in a way that it behaves as expected when features are modified. The best way is to use sketches to visualize the desired model and the relationship between features and possibly other models. Associative modeling Associative modeling means that modification of one geometry feature applies to every associated object. For example, if we change the diameter of the hole on the solid model, it will automatically change that diameter in the associated assembly and drawing. Hybrid modeling Hybrid modeling is a combination of two or more modeling techniques for creating desired geometry. The surface modeling techniques were used to create utility knife housing, and it was transformed into a solid object. Let us assume that Autodesk wants to put its logo on the knife handle with a pad printing technique. We created a simple block created using feature-based modeling. We subtracted the utility knife housing from the block with the use of the Boolean operator, constructive solid geometry modeling technique. The result is a negative shape of the complex geometry of the utility knife housing in the block, which with some additional steps, we can use for nesting the housing during the pad printing. Commercially available CAD software. Now you know what the benefits of CAD are, where you could use it, and how models can be made, let us look at some of the commercially available CAD software interesting to mechanical design engineers. Autodesk AutoCAD. Autodesk Fusion 360. Autodesk Inventor. Dassault Systems Cadia, Dassault Systems SolidWorks, CAD NX, CAD Solid Edge, PTC Creo, Alibra Design, Iron CAD, and many others. All these listed software has the same purpose and similar characteristic. However, they all differ in price, complexity, and available features. It is important to choose the proper CAD software that will fit your company's product complexity and internal processes. 
computer-aided design and drafting completely changed the world of engineering. CAD enabled a faster new product development process and enhanced the collaboration between different departments, shortening the time from idea to market and lowering the cost of NPD. As a mechanical design engineer, the chances of not using CAD software in your professional life are slim to zero. You will use modules like part, assembly, and drawing daily. CAD software is used as a tool, and as such, the better your proficiency with it is, the better and faster you will be able to do your job. Your knowledge of mechanical engineering principles, combined with excellent handling of CAD software, will give you almost infinite possibilities for finding good and stable employment or maybe starting your own company. Did you learn anything new in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like our videos? Then, give us a thumb up, comment, and share it with your friends, colleagues, and on your social media channels. And if you want to become a part of the Newtonians, make sure to subscribe to our channel.